is no other sport like it. A sport where you train to be better at saving lives and you race to be the best in the country, whatever the elements can throw at you, to be crowned South African champion. This is the 2019 General Tyre South African Life Saving Championships, presented by General Tyre. Anywhere is possible. As is tradition, all the competitors assembled to officially open the 2019 General Tyre South African Life Saving Championships, and we reflect on where we've come from and where we are heading. It's amazing to see the increase in the number of competitors. Last year we had about 1,600. We're hitting 1,700 competitors. There's also an increase in the number of clubs here. So it's looking amazing. Let's hope the week um, builds up to what we expect and that the weather holds out and we can have a good championships. As host city, Port Elizabeth always rolls out the red carpet, ready to host the best of the best. It's about people bringing up their skills and abilities. It's about the people that are literally saving life, being serious in their lives, and now they have a chance to enjoy themselves. Two, as a city, we are happy to have this revenue coming to us, uh, exposing our city into the national people from all walks of South Africa. I believe among these people, there are people that are from abroad, which they will uh, be happy to see this event and be happy to see our city. The surf and beach division of the championships are traditionally opened by the nippers. The future of this sport is healthy and all the kids compete in disciplines that simulate rescue scenarios and help create future superstar lifesavers. From under 9 to under 14, boys and girls compete in the same arenas that their senior club teammates will and as such each child's safety is of paramount concern. A large contingent of rescue personnel are on hand to ensure everyone's safety in the ocean. So we had a few little help outs, little kids that went into the surf because the conditions were a bit tough for them yesterday. But um, once they came out and the safety was swimming next to them without helping, they, you know, it just made the little nippers so much more relaxed, you know, they were chuffed. They could make one or two waves out there and coming back with the water safety guys, big smiles on their faces. With the strong culture of bravery permeating the sport of lifesaving, there's no shortage of kids giving their parents anxiety. Young Eden Whitaker is in the under nine long swim and shows just what he's made of. Well, I was watching my other boy and I didn't know he was going to do the event and I came down here and I still saw him going to the start line and I said, no, he shouldn't because he's not a strong swimmer. And they said, well, he said he wanted to do it. So, and then I, then I got worried because I didn't see him coming out. I thought maybe they, they didn't realise that they still had one out there because I just couldn't see his head anyway. The safety officers were around him and I could see the safety officers trying, trying to give him the torpedo can and he was saying, no, he's swimming. And he was breaststroking, breaststroking the whole way. And I love the fact that the, that the safety officers were actually encouraging him to say, right, you're going to finish this race, my boy. And that's what I love about nippers, is that they're allowing the kids to, to go out there. It's such a life skill. And that kid learned something today. He learned about finishing a race, no matter where you are in the race. And that, uh, that was wonderful to see. We saw another boy doing the same thing yesterday and just making it through. And I said, that's, that's the trophy for courage. Doesn't matter if you came first or not. That they came out last, but they didn't give up. Very proud. <laughs> Cultivating a spirit of positive growth, the Nipper Division is sometimes less about the sport and more about the life skills that the kids That's can it. learn. The elation of victory is often eclipsed by the life lessons and friendships that are on display at life saving clubs around the country. In Nippers, you learn about lining up, starting. And in, in, in a life-saving race, when you're out of the can, you might as well finish. You can't stop halfway and say, I don't feel like this anymore. You've started the race. That builds character, it builds determination, it builds bravery. Part of helping kids understand the dangers of the surf is teaching them to respect the rule book. This builds conscientious lifesavers who respect the rules of the competition and the beach. The rules are explained to the kids before the race. Before every race, there's a briefing, Rules are explained, you know the rules of the game, and off you go. You break the rules, you get disqualified. 
and there's no there's no bubble wrap there. It's not, oh, sorry, kid, you can, you can go have a second chance. No, disqualification happens, and this is how kids learn to deal with these disappointments, learn how to deal with how these things, if you break the rule, that's what happens. And uh, it's a lot, and very, very important life skills that these kids learn in Nippers. Newton Park Aquatic Centre is the venue for the pool section of the General Tyre South African Life Saving Championships. Here, lifesavers compete in various pool-based events that simulate still water rescues, as well as help to sharpen the athletes' various skills. To give more insight, Chief Referee Amnali Lawrence explains the rationale behind some of these events. It's very important at the pool is uh, the still water side of it. Uh, people always think that it's only surf, but yeah, in the pool where it's still water, we also teach our guys to be safe in our pools, in our dams. have individual events still which is toe and tube where um, you swim, you touch, you um, put the tube around the mannequin and then you swim back with it. The mannequin weighs about 80 kilograms so it's quite a heavy thing to um, drag through the water and it's, it's quite a te technical to do that. Then we have our long swim um, uh, 100 mannequin which is uh, where we swim underwater. Most of our seniors swims the whole way, all 50 underwater, pick up the mannequin and uh, bring the mannequin to safety. Um, we have skill, a lot of skill with carrying that mannequin. The final of the ladies 100 meter rescue medley. The girls swim 50 meters freestyle and then 25 meters underwater where they retrieve a submerged mannequin. And for the last 25 meters, they bring the mannequin to the safety of the side of the pool. The inform Carmel Bilson of Marine edges a slight lead over Tix Tove van Sale at the return. With a clean pickup and a strong last 25 meters, Bilson extends her lead to take line honors. The nature of the race tr changes from a sprint to underwater to a carrying a dead weight <laughs> behind you for the rest of the way. You've got to go out hard and just hope for the best. A quick look at the results. Bilson with a time of 116.60. Van Sale and Late round off the podium. The men's final in the 100 meter rescue medley and Travis Mistorf from Marine with a great start. Johan Lawrence inching ahead in the first 25 meters. It's Lawrence by half a second at the turn, and with an impressive pickup, builds a four meter lead. Which Mistorp manages to close. But Johan Lawrence wins the gold in an impressive 104.26. We all know 100 combined is one of our tough races, especially straight after the 200 meter obstacles. So, point was to go out hard. Um, get a fast turn, underwaters, pick up, and then do the carry back home. So there's a lot of components and you need to focus on all of them, doing them properly to get the end result. Ricardo Peach from Tix secures the bronze medal with Miss Dorp hanging on for silver. One of the highlights of the pool events is the 100 meter mannequin tow. Carmel Bilson has been in fine form, but there's lots that can go wrong in this event. The first 50 meters is flat out, retrieving the mannequin and clipping it into the rescue tube and then making sure the mannequin remains upright for the return 50 meters. Tove van Sale is first to the other side with Bilson just behind. Durban surfs Amika de Jager having a fast clip and gaining in lane 5. Bilson and van Sale almost neck and neck in the last 10 meters. However, Bilson gets the better of Fonsale. De Jager with a fast finish and the silver medal will be incredibly close. 
you can get twisted in the rope, the rope can break off, it's, it's crazy, but yeah, you've just got to, um, this is a race you've definitely got to practice and um, stay calm and slow it down when you clip and make sure you can see what you're doing, clip and off you go. So confirmation of that tight finish with a hundredth of a second between silver and bronze. Globally, South Africa is very competitive in still water life-saving. And one of the future superstars is in the men's line throw event. Milan Erasmus with his teammate Conor Buerta set a world record in the junior division at the World Champs in 2018. Milan, who represents Durban Surf, is still a junior and despite suffering a shock loss in the junior division of the line throw, had a chance for redemption in the open men's division with his teammate Keaton Riddle. Erasmus and Riddle in lane 3, expecting a strong challenge from Tux, Bauer and Van Skalkveik in lane 2. Erasmus straight into his wind, making big rotations to get more rope in as fast as possible. And then his throw, clean and low, giving the rope the best chance of getting to his swimmer. And it's a clean pickup, and Riddle power kicks to the side. Durban Surf in a time of 10.28. It was an evening that started with disappointment and I gave you, gave you the shot at redemption, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what, it wouldn't be life-saving if everything went to plan all the time. It's why we love the sport, we enjoy the fact that things are unpredictable, something can go wrong. Had a little bit to catch up, I mean, didn't want to make two disappointments in a row for my partner over here. With the world record, I didn't want to be the one to let him down or anything, but I'm happy with that result, very, very happy. Durban surf with gold in the men's line throw, Tux with silver and Summer Strand with bronze. One of the benefits of hosting the General Tyre South African Life Saving Championships in PE is that it is central to most of South Africa, and that means road trips. The Pirates Surf Life Saving Club sending two boat crews to compete this year. Pirates are the unanimous favourites again this year with a strong surf boat culture in the Durban Club. However, the club making most waves is Blue Water Bay, with them fielding a squad consisting of three ladies. In race one of day one, the format was a running start and a running finish. The mixed gender Blue Water Bay boat having a great start and getting into their stroke in third place. As predicted, the two Pirates boats holding on to one and two. It's Pirates A at the turn can first, but there's less than a boat length between them and their B crew. The mixed Blue Water Bay crew slipping back to fourth though, Kings Beach A overtaking them in the deep water. Into the beach and it's Pirates A and B almost neck and neck and with a small runner sneaking under the Pirates B boat. The A crew manages to get on and into the beach first to secure the valuable first blood in the General Tire surf boat shootout. We came yesterday to practice here for the first time. We practiced in a new boat, so we're also quite excited about that. And we're quite pleased with what happened now. Hopefully the next two are better. You got a very good start, which must give you, a, that's a big positive. Yeah, no, definitely. But the waves are also quite small, so they're definitely playing in our favor, and we use the big surf, so okay. it's quite nice. A good showing by these impressive Blue Water Bay ladies. What makes surf lifesaving exciting is the constantly changing conditions, the way the surf can shape a race and the way that the athletes have to adapt and roll with whatever the ocean throws their way. That and the extremely competitive fields that show up to win at all costs. What's really cool to see on the beach is a really lot of younger stars coming through the system. Um, the likes of Kenny Ross uh, won his heat and is semi comfortably. So I think uh, him as well as uh, some of his Fisher companions like Nicky Notton, etc., are going to be uh, really, really quick off the line. Today's field is, is so stacked. We've got uh, previous champions coming out of our ears. Um, <laughs> But she's got a few names, uh, Kenny Rice, Matt Bowman, Mark Keating won a few years ago, the Lowe brothers. Matt Bowman's going to be very hard to beat. Um, the guy's just a uh, class of his own. Pretty much the who's who's of uh, SA Surfski paddling is, is here, so it's going to be uh, an awesome race to watch and a really hard race to be in. In one of the most competitive events of the championships, the men's single ski, a good start is vital.
The first around the turn cans holds pole position with a strong onshore wind blowing. Kenny Rice leading the strong fishhook contingent into the first turn as the boats and paddles all fight for water. Then at the last turn can, it's flat out and hope that a runner doesn't flatten the field. Matthew Bowman and his power pulling him through the field, but it's still Kenny Rice at the front. Nobody's going to get any help from the swell today as Kenny Rice powers to an almost three boat length lead over Bowman and fishhooks Uli Hart. Goal was just to have a clean start. Didn't really care where I was, but I had a pretty good start and managed to just get my nose ahead. Lay off the gas a bit of the can and just get it back together and turn and oh, we've been training really hard at home, so fitness on the way home, just dig deep, eh? And you knew who you were racing around you when you had that last lap, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm not, not too sure, but I just saw two or three noses and I knew okay. I heard Matt coming, so <laughs> yeah, figured just give it a bash and that last little runner was pretty good. Good. Good feeling if you can come into the last 50 meters and realize there's, there isn't a nose over either shoulder. Yeah, very good. Compared to last year, I think we had like a four boat in sprint. Yeah. It's quite a relief coming in with a bit of a gap. So it's a fish hook one and three with Rox's Bowman securing silver. Kings Beach Life Saving Club have gone to great lengths to host a successful and incident free event. Leading that team is the convener of the General Tire South African Life Saving Championships, Craig van Rooyen. The planning for it starts um, about eight to ten months beforehand. Um, obviously we sit in several meetings and it all starts in the boardroom with our sponsors and the various guys involved. So it takes us about two weeks to set up everything from our tents, our arenas, our fencing, the clubhouse facilities itself. So it's quite a long haul. We have about uh, 35 staff um, helping with the setup. Known as the Windy City every day is more a battle of the elements than anything else. And everything from a flooded beach to perfect days on the beach, we've had rain, we've had wind. So what, what happens during the event is obviously on our side we need to adapt our infrastructure according to the conditions. In fighting the elements, the team also had to ensure the safety of each and every competitor. It's been a challenge for them to be able to compete in various conditions over three days. Uh, safety was never an issue over the last three days. Um, we've had a great team, 68 water safety officers in with them. With regards water safety in the water, we have to have minimum 10 safety officers per arena um, at all times. But we normally work on about 15 per arena and there's three arenas that we've got to look at. Those are your water safety officers, those are the guys in the green rash vests. In addition to the rescue personnel, various craft had to be utilised to ensure a fast and efficient response. So craft-wise, you are talking seven craft in the water at all times. Medical, we've got an ambulance that is stationed at the entrance to the, to the arenas. We've got two quad bikes that are roaming, so um, with your medics on, on board of the quad bikes between the three arenas. So, and they also just a radio call away. Another premier surf event is the rescue tube. A swimmer will race out to the outer cans and signal to a rescue swimmer on the beach who is equipped with fins and a standard issue rescue tube to come and collect them. Rox's rescue swimmer Matt Bowman is into the water first. The Kings Beach team, headed up by swimmer Keegan Cook, are challenging in second. Back at the beach, the rest of the four-man team then drag the patient out of the surf and across the line. The experienced Bowman body surfing into the retrieval zone and his teammates retrieving their patient to cross the line in first place. I 
watched, I watched, uh, I watched Seth get a 10 meter lead in the first four meters of the race, and I knew it was done. It was pretty awesome medal. Ah, well deserved. <laughs> what they say. Thank you. Okay, rocks, rock. Well done, boys. Thanks. Thanks sir. Thank you. Thank you. Rocks taking gold with Kings Beach and Tix sharing the rest of the medals. Another of the hotly contested races at this year's event is the ladies board race with a very competitive field and some international competition from a visiting German team as well. The German girls trained for the week before with us, so we kind of kind of know who's who. But I think the main person to look out for is Anna, um, who's my teammate, and then probably a few of the Durban girls as well. The competitors line up on the beach and race into the surf and round the turn can, situated about 100 metres offshore. Again, with the prevailing wind, it's all about getting to the turn cans as fast as possible and then holding out on the way in. Anna Notten pulling away from the field, constantly watching the surf so as not to miss any waves which could reduce her lead. Off her board and up the beach to secure gold for Fishhook. It's nice to have a race, a tough race, yeah. definitely. It makes all the makes it fun. And what's nice about life saving is that there's so many events and so many different things. So if you have a bad race, you have a good race in the next one or and everyone's yeah, no, it's great. Fishhook securing gold and bronze with Connell Bilson and Marine getting silver. working on my ski that was always the weak leg so now that my ski is up there I'm hoping that I can get a podium position and I'm just gonna give it my best have fun see how I go look left look right it's a pretty strong field eh? it is but I have to back myself here yeah. um, and I do back myself so I'm ready to go with tricky weather conditions the rules and starting procedures are reinforced with all the competitors so as to ensure that everyone is clear on what is expected Predictably, it's Anna Notten leading the board in her strongest discipline, but the rest of the field is not far off. Pacing herself and flanked at the front by her fish of teammates, it's now into the swim. Durban surfs Amika de Yaga in her strongest discipline, the swim. She takes the lead at the first turn can and hangs on to that lead over Carmel Bilson on the way in. It's De Yaga and Bilson onto the beach after the swim leg one and two respectively. The final leg, the ski, is going to be the decider. No drama here as both girls make clean starts to the ski leg. They're neck and neck heading into the building swell. De Yaga with a slim lead coming into the beach but Bilson is out of her ski and running first. Amika De Yaga getting caught up with her ski in the small swell. Carmel Bilson holds out on the run to secure the prestigious 2019 Iron Woman gold medal. Coming into this, like the beach day one, oh, after nearly three days of pool, my body's feeling it a bit, but yeah, just race tactically, stuck to the game plan, and it worked out. Just talk me through it, because you look very measured and in control, even though you were sitting second, third. Yeah, you just got to uh, play to your strengths and kick, just don't let Everyone else's race tactics get into your mind. So yeah, I just gotta keep keep at it and trust the system. <laughs> Alice Edwards from Suncoast Pirates gets the last medal and confirmation of De Yaga's silver. Ultimately what everyone is chasing, the club standings. Fishhook, Marine and Durban Surf with everything to fight for on the last day. Coming up in the next instalment of the General Tire South African Life Saving Championships, world champion Raul de Mornay injures his toe minutes before the men's beach sprint final. All the drama of the General Tire surfboat shootout. And the rest of the best life saving action from Kings Beach in Port Elizabeth.
There's no other sport like it. A sport where you train to be better at saving lives and you race to be the best in the country. Whatever the elements can throw at you to be crowned South African champion. This is the 2019 General Tyre South African Lifesaving Championships. Presented by General Tyre. Anywhere is possible. Thank <laughs> you.